Hello Nigerians. Um, I have this news for us and I want us to really deliberate on these uh, points. It is all about uh, the recent and latest interview or special interview of uh, Mr. President, the Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari on NTA yesterday. You know. So, um, the, he really addressed issues like on uh, service chiefs, you know, uh, insecurity, kidnapping, and banditry. His past uh, electoral adventure, what he will do differently this time around, and fight against corruption. And many other stuffs, but that is not even the major issue that have uh, set the social media on fire since that yesterday. So what that has set social media on fire is that, as usual, you know, uh, sit is in his manner. He failed to answer some questions he was asked correctly, and for this reason, Nigerians. Uh, um, have taken to social media to react you know okay i want us to see some of the reactions of nigerians before we finally go to um the reaction of a people democratic party that is the opposition party okay so now uh, um, let's let's see how nigerians uh, are reacting to very special interview you know which was uh, aired yesterday on nta now, um, I have uh, Ayokoto, you know, Deonye Ayokoto. So, look at that, he said, um, she, the, uh, this woman re repeated the words uh, Buhari said on uh, budget. He said, I told Saraki and Dogara that by holding budget for seven months, you are not hurting me. You are hurting Nigerians. In terms of uh, patriotism, I rate them very, very low. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> he read them very, very low in terms of uh, patriotism. What has this to do with the question he was asked? That he told uh, the, the, if, the, if the government for the past four years did not do well, why must he blame it on Dogara and uh, Saraki? That they, they held a budget for seven months. Okay, seven months. Uh, subtract seven months from four years. How many months? 12, 12, 12, 36. Plus, uh, plus um, five. Which is 41. So, how would only seven months cause the problem we are having in Nigeria on economy? That's the question. You ask question on economy and you are blaming it from Saraki and Dogger. So, guys, I, I'm not trying to, you know, be one-sided, but I want you to um, air your view, draw your, uh, drop your comments on the commentary box. Tell us whether um, Saraki and Dogara uh, were are the you know cause of uh, or are the cause of the uh, economy mayhem in Nigeria. So just let us know whether they are the cause of uh, uh, the problem we are having on economy uh, in Nigeria presently. Okay, so okay, look at what he said. Um, okay, this lady just reacted, you know how uh, NTA is the national TV and they do their things in order to favor whosoever that is in power that has been their manner so the, this, this lady is saying that I never understood NTA was a bondage to Nigerians so they, she just knew it until I watched the Buhari broadcast yesterday she never even <laughs> won't care so okay, you just uh, woke up, 
Uh, that has been. Uh, didn't you watch during the election period, the campaign period? They will just come and tell you, televise all the roads, some the infrastructure, some display to you, and tell you that uh, the government is really doing well. You want them to be sacked? So don't be surprised. That's Nigeria where you are. So she was like, uh, uh, pre um, the his question was a prepared uh, question. You know, insincere, insincere, insincere question, untruthful answers. You know, the, everybody that listening to this might say just the same thing. I don't know what your your own view is. Just let us know what your view, own view is. Whether those answers were untruthful or not, like uh, one dot k said, one ik said. You know, so insincere questions. You know, uh, they just uh, gave him the question before he came. So and uh, is that true? Uh, that the questions are insincere, prepared, and untruthful answers were given. That's what this lady is saying. Okay, uh, uh, as bad as saying he visited all 774 local governments in Nigeria in the past one year. Yeah, that he used one year. That's what he said to visit this all the seven 774 local governments. Why? I don't know why somebody. Will, I don't know whether I, did, I don't know. So, uh, in my own local government, I didn't see him. <laughs> I don't know yours. Okay, dear Nigerians, your head of state is a black, is a blatant liar. That's what this lady said. Is uh, is our head of state blatant liar? Please, I want you to uh, to respond to this. So we have CEO engineer. It uh, you say listen to Buhari's interview on NTA. Baba no they replied the question with correct answers. Now nah, Baba no they re <laughs> respond you know, the questions with correct answers. It's whatever that comes in his mind, he says. He said, interviewer, who is Buari? Now listen, Buari, he, he, he just make it, he said, this is an interviewer asking, who is Buari? And look at Buari's response. I was in prison. For three and a half years. <laughs> yeah, he said it. He talks about uh, him being in prison for three and a half years. So, Nigeria is uh, 50 years backward under Buhari. <laughs> man, no, man, no get a conoche at all. Man, no get a conoche at all. That's what the guy said. The man's no get a college at all. He said the man, you know, you don't get sex anymore. So that's what the uh, CEO engineer is saying here. I don't know, guys, what do you have to say on this, you know. So I um, look at this uh, Kevin Adams that says uh, Buhari is the dullest president Nigeria has ever had and will ever have. An obvious, incoherent, slothful, blunt aged, hate man with no business in government. Oh my goodness. Kevin others. This is exactly how he qualifies the president from what he observed on NTA yesterday. So, what do you think about that? Do you agree with him? So, Jackson Ude says, um, if Buare has his way, he would govern without the legislature. <laughs> yes, how many years did it take him, at most did it take him uh, 215 before he, you know, elected, uh, appointed them, you know. Oh my goodness, uh, uh, his commissioner, sorry. But uh, the legislature, being the lawmakers, that one is not in his hand uh, that one is uh, above him it's constitutional uh, thing you know they're elected they're, they're a different arm of government despite that he is uh, you know trying to use his uh, dictatorial um, um, concepts and life to you know to put them in his pockets you know, to to subdue them, yeah. Okay, 
the guy continues saying uh, he said in the nta in the nta media that the legislators go around posing as head of the government when according to him it is the executive that is the head of government in a democracy all three arms are equal so he said they are just uh, parading you know uh, carrying themselves as if they are the head of government you know so maybe he's uh, very very annoyed on that but this is democracy we have three arms of government the legislature the judiciary and the executive and that's the separation of power check and balances all of them should be independent but i don't know what's he think about this is not military regime of course this is democracy so we have this guy jubrin of sudan t 2023 that's what he called his name <laughs> that, is, that is this guy's name his tag name here so not that he's calling uh, um um buhari this name no okay he said who is muhammad buhari you know and uh, he's talking about the response of uh, muhammad buhari when he was asked who is muhammad buhari i was a student class captain platoon leader saw the coup the counter coup the civil war the coup the counter coup i was in the detention for three and uh, a half years i am still serving i am suffering <laughs> i am a suffering nigerian <laughs> <laughs> President Muhammad Buhari. This is very, very interesting. Just what this. He he was asked, uh, "Who is Muhammad Buhari?" <laughs> he said, "I was a student, class captain, platoon leader. Was okay. Sorry, saw the coup, the counter coup, the civil war, the coup, the counter coup. I was in detention." For three and a half years, <laughs> I am still serving. I am a suffering Nigeria. <laughs> That's what your president said. So we should we should pity him because he's a suffering Nigeria. He saw all these things while he was in school. He was a, a class captain, the platoon leader. Uh, he saw the coup. He saw the cap, uh, counter coup. He saw the civil war. He said he saw another coup and counter coup that he was detained three and a half years that he is still serving. Oh my goodness, I am. He is sorry, he said that he is suffering Nigeria. So I don't know what you think about that. Should we pity him, or maybe that is why he's uh, so tired because he really suffered for Nigeria, you know, from all the things he, you know, uh, said. Okay. I read Salaki Dogara very, very low, Buhari said. But this guy says, Bola Abola, Abola says, we rate you lower, Nigerians. We rate you lower. If you rate Salaki and Dogara low, very, very low, we Nigerians rate you lower. That's what Bola Abola said. So, guys, is that true? Do we rate him lower? Is, is, is he right? Uh, was he right when he said uh, he read Dogara and uh, Saraki very, very low? So I need your comments, please. Okay, um, the so called Nigerian elites want to make people believe that they detect the tunes. They work against me, but I don't care about them. He said he doesn't care about them. That they work against him, but they claim that they detect the tunes, but he doesn't care about them. So look at him, he said he doesn't care about the the elites, the Nigerian elites. So I don't know whether he knows what the meaning of elites. So if you don't care about the elites, you don't care about the the citizens, other citizens, maybe the average class or the lower class. Man, I don't know whom you care about. 
No, I don't know whom you care about. That's what he said. He said they don't care about them. They think they 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 believe that they detect they they detect the tunes. They work against him, but he doesn't care about them. That's what he said. Okay, now see why not the next thing he said. You left all the important things. <laughs> this guy said uh, Henry shared. He said you, he was telling the viewers. You know, he said you left all the important things. You could have been doing, including watching comedy shows and uh, sleeping to go and watch. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you. That's uh, you. You sacrificed all those things you've been doing. Maybe watching television, sleeping, and you now wake up, uh, going to watch uh, Buhari's uh, interview on AT uh, last night. He said that now you are disturbing <laughs> our space. With your disappointment, <laughs> with uh, disappointment in social media, so you yeah, disobeyed our space. Why did it? You not sleep or go and watch comedy? You just wasted your time. Uh, so that you are going to watch, uh, you know, uh, Buhari's uh, interview. Didn't you know how it will be? Okay, this guy said Jackson Ude. He said uh, Asha, Asha Buhari said the 500 billion social investment fund is a failure. Guess who heads heads of the social intervention program of Buhari government is? He said, "Guess who is the head of that uh, um, social investment program?" Is he said, "Former pastor Yemi Aderi Bibwe Aderu Bogo Usibanjo." Oh, that's all his name. Aderi Bikibwe. Adere Bibwe, Adero, Aderu, Boko, Usibanjo. So he called him the former pastor. You know? So he said that he's the he's the the head of the social investment program, which the wife of the president said is a failure. You know. So but he, that's what she said. The social investment fund is the cash. The cash cows of all the A's in Usubanjo's uh, office. Yeah, that's what she said. The guy said, man. So, the next time I'm asked who I am, <laughs> who am I? This is what I should respond. <laughs> President Buhari is really a mentor no wonder he doesn't want to spend money on education he is truly a life coach you know because he doesn't know who he is <laughs> oh my god um this one said the uh, ej said the ej one says uh, after your cock and book story okay sorry after your cock and book story interviews still want to know who is Mohammed Bugari? So the lady that said she will still want to know after he must have uh, given us his cock and book story and interview that she still wants to know who is uh, Mohammed Bugari because she didn't understand what she was saying. He answered her off point. That's what the lady said. Okay, this guy said the uh, comrade Deju Adeyaju just last week. Okay, look at um, Bugari told ministers during his. Uh, Valedictory speech that should be valedictory speech here yeah, that they should be proud they served in a government that defeated Boko Haram. Oh my goodness, defeated Boko Haram? Wow, today we can't promise Boko Haram will, we can't promise Boko Haram will or will not be defeated anytime soon. Gabashe Hussein. Nigeria must have sense by force. That's what this guy said. That we should have sense by force. Okay. Uh, President Mohamed Buhari has uh, signed the you know, 2019 budget into law. That's what uh, this, um, Bashir Ahmad said. Okay. Maybe these are their Buhari's fans. Okay. So... 
Ayekoto says that, according to Aisha Buhari, pastor wasted <laughs> 500 billion naira. That is 500k in 1 million pieces. <laughs> Imagine giving 1 million entrepreneurs 500k, but but no pastor no pastor lawyer no pastor lawyer had to share 10k and uh, the money now has no economic uh, value being a prof doesn't mean you are intelligent so what this guy is saying is that uh, you have 500 billion this money would have been at least 1, 1 million given to 500 uh, you know people that it would have created a more impact than 10 10k which had no value to nigerians he was saying despite that this guy is a professor that it doesn't make sense that being a professor is, is it doesn't mean you are intelligent that you can still be a professor and you know nothing and what he said is true five billion just think of five billion if you give you know, 500 people, 1, 1 million, and you, you know, alleviate 500 people from poverty. You know what it means? What is 10,000? That's what is, this guy is saying. So this lady, um, God bless Chantel, says, uh, I raised Saraki and uh, Dogara very low in area of uh, patriotism, EMB. I imagine Buhari rating someone in the area of patriotism. This is the same Buhari who refused to sign the Electoral Act into law and stop the killing of uh, Nigerians, which is his primary responsibilities. So this lady made sense here. She said that somebody that is rating all these people low, look at, he, he, he refused to, you know, sign the electoral law because they were trying to, you know, rig the election. And he, he refused to stop the herdsmen killing and the Boko Haram. You heard what Obasan just said the other day. That is, you know, funeralization and, uh, you know, Islamization agenda. So, he said that the Boko Haram have been funeralized and uh, Islamized. So, what do you think about it, guys? So, that's exactly Nigerians' uh, reactions. On uh, on this uh, Buhari's uh, interview, he really didn't get it. That's exactly what we mean. So, but um, the People Democratic Party has slammed Pro President uh, Buhari, you know, following the president's president's uh, new interview, which was uh, aired on national TV last night. Let's see if you have. Uh, um, things they said before um, my time, you know, I have about five minutes. Okay, the people, the PDP says President Mohamed Buhari resorts to blame game and false performance claims in his media interview has further confirmed that the last four years of his administration smacks of failure. And incompetence yeah that is the proof they said it's what uh, all his blame blaming people it proves that uh, he failed in his uh, uh, four years you know so the party also indicated president Buhari for not using his uh, orchestrated interview to give account for the trillions stolen under his uh, watch in the last four years yeah because uh, you know uh, 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 Alpha Beta, the guy, the executive, the chief executive, uh, uh, petitioned the uh, bullion van. That's what's his name? Um, Tinubu. Up to now, we've never heard about uh, the action of uh, EFCC on that matter. So, this uh, 16 million dollars of uh, mosquito net, the wife talked about, he has never said anything. The 500 million. Social investment fund, all these things. Where are this money? Nobody can tell. So I don't know. Okay, PDP might be right. I don't know. Tell me what you uh, think about it. 
the People Democratic Party knows that it was an international accepted position that all critical sectors in our, our country performed abysmally in the last four years because of the incompetent, incompetence of uh, President Buhari administration. Adding that, it was unfortunate that instead of uh, accepting responsibility for the failure of his uh, administration, Mr. Mr. President is looking for scapegoat. Uh, sorry, okay, he's looking for scapegoats where there are none. He's blaming the PDP people, uh, Dogara and uh, Saraki. It is for the. It is for this reason that the PDP presented a presidential candidate and deputy which sorry and deputy with strong knowledge of economy and social order in order to rescue our nation from the dear strength into which she had been thrown thrown due to poor leadership of uh, last four years so said so they wanted to rescue this uh, government that was why they brought a uh, um, article and the uh, ob but it couldn't work they uh, continue by saying that uh, nigeria should continue to pray you know so that uh, these people will regain their the pdp will get back their mandate and uh government will go back to where it's supposed to be mr president Personal attack on the Senate President Bukala Saraki and the Speaker of the House of Representatives Yakub Dogara were totally uncalled for and speak volume on his disposition about democracy. Yes, that's what they said because it blamed this to you. So, my people, I don't know what you think about this. You know, moreover, President Buhari should end his uh, showboating on the war against corruption. Yeah, that's what he said. He must admit that he failed because his administration, which swim in ocean of corruption, cannot fight corruption. This is an administration which uh, thrives in concealment, under which 14 trillion belong to Nigerians have been frittered by officials who have not been investigated or prosecuted. That's what he said. 14 trillion naira. This is incredible. And EFCC, what are you people doing? EFCC, what are you people doing? So, he said, they said, furthermore, Mr. President has uh, no suiting words for millions. Of furthermore, uh, it is disappointing that Mr. President has no suiting words, suiting ways for millions of compatriots who have been subjected to the worst form of economy and social misery under his incompetent and corrupt administration, said the PDP. The party, however, urged Nigerians not to despair but continue in their determination and prayers to retrieve the stolen presidential mandate at the tribunal so that our nation can have a purposeful government that will be truly alive to its responsibility to the people. So, signed by uh, Kola Olobodia, National Public Secretary of UDP. So, my friend, uh, my people, my viewers, this is all about it. You have uh, seen the reactions of uh, Nigerians that uh, Mr. President was not able to answer the questions that were thrown on him correctly even his when he was asked who is muhammad Buhari, he started talking about his position in school how he uh, led in school how he witnessed the uh, civil war the cube and so on and so forth so that's what people are asking is that what he was supposed to answer? So please, we we'll meet in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit on the subscribe red button. Thank you. Bye bye.